everybody. Thanks for joining me at the Techie Coach today. And my question for you today is, have you seen the new Google Forms? If you haven't, Google is trying to make every effort to give the same look and feel and functionality to all of their tools. And the next part of that process is Google Forms. Right now, I'm looking at a Google Form, and if you look at it, it still has the same look and feel it used to, but at the top, they've got a little banner here that says, try the new Google Forms. So what you're gonna notice is that when I click on this little link, it's gonna change everything, and you're gonna see some of the things are in a different place than they used to be, but I think you're gonna find it's a lot easier to use. So once the new Google Forms loads, it's been very streamlined, and they'll ask you if you wanna take a tour. Um, I recommend that you go ahead and take the tour so you can kinda of look around, but most of the things that they'll talk about are also in this video. So for the most part, you have a spot at the top where you can title your form. And on the right hand side, you've got a little toolbar that pops up that allows you to add specific things to your questions. Now obviously they give you one question to start with. And if you wanna change that question style, you just use the drop down menu and you can choose from the same types of questions that you've had in the past. And it's just got a, a, a slicker, cooler look and feel to it. If you need to change the title and description, you've got a toolbar for that, as well as an add image icon, an add video icon, and then an add section icon, which this kind of takes the place of inserting a page break. So before, if you wanted to put page breaks between questions to kind of break up your form so it's not one long streaming form, you can do that here by adding a section. So if I wanted to add a question to this, all I have to do is click here in the untitled questions section, and you can type in a question, but I'm gonna paste one in. Okay, so I have my question, and I'm gonna change this to a short answer. And of course, just like in the past, if you wanted to copy a question, you have a duplicate icon. If you wanna trash a question, you can delete. And if you wanna make this a required question so that the student cannot, or the user cannot submit the form unless they've answered it, you just flip the switch right here. Now, as in everything Google recently, you'll see these three dots here. This is a menu that you can open up for more options. And here, it gives you the spot where you can add a hint text, or depending on the question type, you'll have other options such as data validation. Now, the next question is, how do I add another question? So as I told you just a second ago, we have this floating toolbar here. If you wanna add a new question, you just click the plus sign, and you've got another question. Adding a video from YouTube is super easy. You just click the add video icon. And if you already know the address of the video that you want to add, just go to the URL menu at the top and paste in your video. Now you always have the ability to search for a video on YouTube from the previous menu that I was on. But once you're ready, you just click select and it drops your video in just as it did before. Uh, one difference now is that you do have um, the option of centering and aligning down here at the bottom left as opposed to the way it used to be. And if you wanna change that video, you just click change and it takes you back to the previous menu. One of the things that's missing from this view are all of the options that are at the top usually. And you'll find those up here in this little gear icon. Just go to settings and from here, you can choose to automatically collect a username or limit responses to one per login. You can also set it up to submit another response or edit response see summary of responses, all of those options that were usually at the top and the bottom of Google Forms are now in this one menu. You can click the I to preview your form. So this is the same as the view live form button. And from here, you can actually test your form out by submitting an answer if you'd like. And then you have this color palette at the top that allows you to change the design of your form. So that's something that's interesting. And you can also add your own image to your form. So let's say for instance, I wanna choose one of these categories that's already set up here and hit select. And once that's loaded, then you can click on the preview icon and see what your form looks like with your new color and your new image. And then finally, one thing that's still the same is that you have a send button and if you'd like to send your form to somebody to fill out, you just click send and you can change your options to who can respond right here from this drop down menu. And you can also send them via an email, a link, 
or you can choose an embed code so you can put it straight on a page or you can simply email it from here or send it out through social media through these icons here. If you want to add collaborators to your form, just click on the Add Collaborators button at the bottom and it will ask you who you'd like to add. And that's it. On the back end of a form, anytime you collect responses in a form, those go in a spreadsheet. So if you'd like to set up your spreadsheet options, you go to the Responses menu at the top of your form. And from here, you can choose whether or not you, you're accepting responses or you can turn your form off to no longer accept responses if you have a deadline. You can create your new spreadsheet from here or you can open up this menu icon and you can select a response destination if you already have a sheet set up where you'd like to collect responses. That's pretty much it as far as forms is concerned. It's very simple. Like I said, it's been streamlined to look and feel a little bit simpler. But if you'd like to go back to the old Google Forms, just go to the bottom left of your page and you've got this little icon here where you can switch back to the old Google Forms and edit the way that you used to. Well, hopefully that fills you in on the way the new Google Forms looks. If you ever have questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks for joining me.